Member, and I will say this as a compliment. He has been slightly obsessed with the expansion of pre-K and 3K in his district. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that he has brought immense energy to bear. And it's real interesting when council members come to you and they say, hey, there's something we really need to focus on. I need to talk to you about it. Uh, it's heartening to me where the thing that uh, brings out the most passion is early childhood education. That has been true uh, for council member Ben Kalos. He has talked to me about this dozens and dozens of times over the year, and I'm really happy that we can have him join us on this day where this dream is finally being realized and 3K will reach his district now. From Manhattan, council member Ben Kalos. Good morning. I'm council member Ben Kalos. My daughter is three years old and 3K for All is a lifeline that will make it easier for countless families like mine to stay in New York City and thrive. My family will be applying for 3K today. <laughs> After this pandemic forced our children into isolation for a year, New York City parents will be relying on 3K for All to help our children catch up. Child care on the Upper East Side starts at $30,000 and that's if you can get a seat. Few can afford this, and countless families have told me that childcare costs were the straw that broke the camel's back and forced them out. This was even before the pandemic. 3K for All is a game changer, giving every child the fair start that they deserve. Right here, I have a, a map of where we had planned 3K as of 2020 that I made when we uh, launched a petition, and the areas in red still needed it. If you counted, that's half the school districts in New York City and about two fifths by population and landmass. Uh, today's announcement turns its entire map blue. And Mayor de Blasio, this petition is coming down today. Uh, <laughs> child care weighs heavily on couples as they plan for a family. Can they afford child care? If not, can they afford for one parent to take time off? How long will that gap be? Will their career ever recover from that gap? Which parent will that be? Now, to be honest, in heterosexual couples or with single parents, that parent is most often a woman. 3K and pre-K, the times the family must struggle to find child care from five years down to three years, which is a big help and two big steps in the right directions. Countless families, including mine, are breathing a sigh of relief with today's announcement. Full disclosure is that my advocacy started long before we even got pregnant with our daughter. I want to thank Majority Leader Lori Cumbo for her partnership. We have elected officials who live in their districts and have families precisely so we'll fight for the services for our children. I couldn't be prouder to have you on the council. I know I've been persistent about getting UPK and now 3K rolled out, but this was too important for our children's future to leave up to the next administration. Mayor de Blasio, I've been asking you for this for so many years. What will we talk about? What will we ask? Now, I'm only <laughs> asking here because there's a laundry list. But in all seriousness, I want to thank Mayor de Blasio for staying true to his word and making universal pre-K a reality and now 3K for all by 2021. When we both have our vaccines and it is safe to do so, I'm going to walk over to Gracie. And I'm going to give you, Mayor de Blasio, a big hug. When the mayor said he was yes to bringing 3K for city citywide, I literally jumped for joy, sighed in relief. I know that getting it funded is only the first step and that finding sites, particularly in the Upper East Side of Manhattan, can be a challenge. You have my pledge that just as we did to secure 900 new pre-K seats before, I will work with parents, providers, and the real estate developers to build the seats we need in six months. And I'm counting on the mayor, Deputy Chancellor Wallach, and SCA to work miracles. Mayor de Blasio, you did something no one else even tried to do. You got universal pre-kindergarten done in the largest city in America. You brought it into the national dialogue, and now President Biden is taking the idea seriously. Now in your final year, you're taking another Herculean effort on by expanding 3K citywide. That's quite a legacy that will be felt by countless families, including mine, for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you. That's so kind of you, Council Member, and thank you. And you have been an extraordinary advocate, and you're absolutely right. Your advocacy goes long, long before your own family grew. But uh, thank you, because you said a really important thing there about we need everyone's help to make this come alive over these next six months. Uh, you will remember, council member, the first six months of pre-K in 2014. Uh, very exciting time, but uh, to quote Lydia, nerve-wracking as well, as we were trying to find all the right space and make it work. Well, we're going to do it again. 
With your help, council member, and your colleagues, and we will find the space, uh, and the team of the DOE has proven and SCA that they can do it, so we're going to have them do it one more time. But uh, this is going to be really, we use the word game changer, maybe a little too much in life, but this one is a game changer. This changes families' lives, and we're just so excited. This is really a good day for this city.